This RefWorks training session will cover the basic RefWorks functionality. We will not cover all the features available to you, but we will look at the ones you will use most frequently in RefWorks as you conduct your research. After you log into RefWorks, you will usually start on the All References page. This shows everything you have saved in your RefWorks project. Notice it says Untitled Project at the top. Projects is a more advanced RefWorks feature. You may refer to another training session about using projects to organize your research. On the upper right corner of the reference list, you may choose Display Options. First option is how many references you would like to display per page, up to 2000. There are also several other view options, Normal View, Table View, Full View, and Citation View. These options allow you to view your reference list in different ways. Normal View is the default view of your references list. The table view only shows a few key fields, but is an effective way to scan through many references at once. The full view has all data fields on the page. The citation view displays references in whatever bibliographic citation format you select. The citation view indicates if citations are missing data that is required by that citation format, shown with yellow highlighting, so you know what fields to look for before citing that reference. You may customize your view to show additional information for folders, tags, and sharing labels. You may also choose sort ascending or descending and sorting options. You may sort by date, added, modified, or published, title, author, or reference ID. By default, references are sorted by the date you added them, with the most recent on top. RefWorks remembers the last view you used and will open in that view next time. When you click on a reference, a reference preview sidebar opens with bibliographic details. Depending on the content, you may also be able to click to read the full text of a PDF if you attach the PDF, or because you have a link through your institution's Discovery Service link resolver, or the reference is found in Unpaywall database. Click the Edit Pencil icon on upper right of Reference Preview pane to edit any fields. Click the Duplicate icon to create a duplicate of the selected reference. To close the Reference Preview panel, click the X on the upper left corner. Another common way to look at your references is by selecting Last Imported. These are the most recent references you imported into RefWorks, grouped by import. If there are references which you do not want to keep in your RefWorks account, you can simply move them to Trash Folder. Select Reference you would like to remove, click Delete on top menu and click Move Selected to Trash. References in the Trash Folder are not deleted. They are stored there and can be recovered to an active folder or permanently deleted. They will not show up in any other lists or folders and cannot be cited when you are authoring a paper. To restore a reference from Trash back into your library, select the reference and click Restore on top menu. To permanently remove a record from your account, delete it from your Trash folder. Select the reference and click Delete, then Delete Selected. Permanently deleted records cannot be recovered. Let us now look at the most used options in the Reference and Tools Actions menu on top of your library. If you need a quick bibliography of your current resources, select References from your list and click the Create Bibliography option. You can change the citation style or author display on this page. Click on Copy to Clipboard and paste the bibliography text in your chosen destination. If you need a quick way to generate citations that go in the body of your research paper, click on Quick Cite. A smaller window pops up, where you can click on the citation style you need, then click Continue. Select the citations you need from the list and the citations appear in the field at the top. You can copy the citation text and paste into your document or research paper. Then at the bottom, click Continue to Bibliography. The bibliography appears and you can copy it to paste the text at the end of your document or research paper. There are more powerful ways to creating citations and bibliographies in your documents. More information is on the Tools page. Here you can find the Save to RefWorks tool, which allows you to save reference content from just about any website online. There are also tools that can be added to your word processor to enable citing references. RefWorks Citation Manager is available for Word, Google Docs, and Hangul Word Processor. We review these tools in detail in another training session found on the RefWorks YouTube channel. The last feature we will review in this video is Search and Advanced Search. Searching in RefWorks allows you to curate results from any reference detail field or PDF text. Other RefWorks features, such as import, export, deduplication, collaboration, and sharing and writing tools are covered in the other videos on our YouTube channel.
On behalf of RefWorks and ProQuest part of Clarivate, thank you for watching RefWorks Basic Functionality. We encourage you to view our other videos for more information about using your RefWorks account.